Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to Coffee Talk. Uh, glad that you're joining us today to get caught up on what's going on at Lakeview Heights Baptist Church. We are out in the woods. We found some fun rocks. If only we had time to play around on them, hey? And <laughs> do some climbing. Well, and... uh, I tell you, when you, you brought us here, yeah. I was like, hey, Gabe and I have climbed these rocks. Yes, I know. Like, these are in the, the guidebook for climbing. These are like the coolest rock formations. So and cool. um, they're all over on Mount Boucherie if you know where to look. And uh, uh, the other place you find rocks just like this, Giant's Causeway, Northern Ireland. Oh. And uh, <laughs> the, when we were there, it was the first time I ever kind of noticed. I, I'm sure maybe I walked by them and just didn't pay attention. Yeah. And uh, But there they're like, as we're walking out on Giant's Causeway, I mean, it's our, there's, there's a legend to go with everything mm -hmm. in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And so they're telling us all about all the folklore of ancient battles between giants and all of this. But anyways, the, the gist of it is uh, volcanic, volcanic, that's a funny way to say it. Volcanic uh, lava flow meets cooling, yada, yada, yada. Uh, this is all the outcropping of volcanic activity. So anyways, it's shady because it's hot everywhere else. And mm -hmm. if you listen carefully, you will hear the cicadas, and uh, we are, it's its the summer of weird chirping, but here we go. Uh, really? Enough about all of that nonsense. We, Jeff, what's what's new with you this week? Hmm. Uh, so on Saturday, I joined probably half of uh, the province in traveling a little further away from home. Oh, yeah? And we, I took my boys back to Chilliwack. They've been, they've been wanting to see their friends back home. And so Jack is actually still there. We okay. dropped him off yeah. with a family we know, and, and he's spending some time there. Gabe spent some time with the family and yeah, it was really nice to, cool. to go back and, yeah. uh, you know, and then, and then to come back here. Uh, so yeah, what's new with me is it's three of us in the house now, Cheryl, Gabe, yep. and I, and um, working frantically to try to finish Jack's bedroom. And um, yeah, summer is right around the corner. And we were told this, that if you move to the Okanagan, you're going to have people visiting all the time. Right. <laughs> we're actually we're actually anticipating lots of visits so Cheryl's like oh man it's gonna get busy so yeah well you you did move during a pandemic when yeah. people weren't supposed yes. to travel outside so yeah. now that that's changed uh, they then they will all get tired of it yeah the, you know if if your history is like what we've experienced oh, okay. it's, it's great everyone's like yeah we want to go yeah and some people still will yeah others are kind of like oh but we got to take the ferry <laughs> and it's like well <laughs> Oh, whatever. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. That's that's no, good. I'm glad you guys got a got good. away and your your boys got to yeah. see the homeland for a it's bit. It's really good. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, no, lots of lots of exciting stuff to come. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about Sunday in a little bit. But what's new with you? Well, uh, I also was in Chilliwack on <laughs> Saturday, but driving through, yep. and I was there Wednesday evening, driving through the other direction. Mm -hmm. um, What's new with me, we now, well, we took a ferry on Friday night, or Wednesday night, sorry, um, which two things were weird about that. One, it wasn't even half full. It was the emptiest ferry I've been on in years. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more empty than Christmas morning when we travel. Uh, uh -huh. It was just unbelievably dead, which was awesome. We were really <laughs> excited about that because we could not, we could just like, it was late in the evening. Kids were like laying on the floor doodling and there's <laughs> lots of space. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that Chilliwack, there was something different about it. And I don't think it's that you don't live. I, like, I, like I, I drove through Wednesday evening and I almost didn't even notice I was in Chilliwack because it was very un I Like, I, you know, like Chilliwack usually has that, that, that aroma, that yeah. certain kind of... <laughs> you didn't smell it. And it didn't. I'm like, wow, this is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we kind of got through and, and got to the other side of Avatar. And I'm like, hey, I, like, it just took me a minute. Yeah. Anyways, so we, we spent uh, two, three nights on the island. Mm -hmm. uh, we were only going to do two, but she ended up not working. It's a long thing, but uh, we ended up s deciding to slip away Wednesday evening really late. And um, it was great. Uh, and so we got to connect with family that we haven't seen since mm -hmm. summer. And uh, um, yeah, and it was, it, was, it was really nice. And so then we got back Saturday and we're excited to spend Father's Day together. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we did that here in Kelowna. And I feel like something 
I'm trying to Saturday Sunday was really nice. We had a nice Father's Day. We kind of we went into town and um, introduced the kids to an ice cream place that they haven't been to before that Chin and I had been kind of like that was like our oh, this is good ice cream. Mm -hmm. We're not sharing with the kids yeah. and then decided <laughs> okay fine Father's Day they will yeah. introduce them to it. So now we're now we're in trouble cuz now they've all had good ice cream and <laughs> Did they My, recognize it? Do they, they like they, it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. They're oh, like, okay. this, is, yeah. this is really, really good. <laughs> and uh, with, uh, which, which, which happens every now and then because, you know, um, I have no problem like spending a little extra so that Sheena can enjoy nice ice cream or chips or whatever it is, right? Yeah. We'll, go, we'll go a little higher end for us. But then you're like, no, the kids like that cheap stuff. Let's just, yeah. but, but yeah. now that they, but then they get a taste for it and yeah. they're like, what we yeah. like. So it's kind of yeah. tough to go backwards. Right. But we'll see what happens. Well, then you just don't have to buy ice cream for and say we're saving up because you want the good stuff. That's that's a great way to put it. Yeah. Maybe it'll mean less, like, which is not, which yeah. is a, which is a good thing. Uh, anyways, so that was yeah. it. Yeah, we just had a nice Father's Day, oh, and uh, it was really, yeah. it was really good just to kind of not have to go mm -hmm. anywhere except across the bridge yeah. and just sort of relax after church. So it was, yeah, yeah, no, it was really good. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah, it's been good. Uh, Sunday though, you kind of alluded to already, yeah. kind of got us there. Mm -hmm. Sunday is, we, we have baptism on mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one individual, Nancy is getting baptized. Yeah. And so uh, a couple things with that. One, um, if, first off, we would love to have you join us in the building. Uh, we've, we've got room for, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I should have looked to see how many are already registered, but we've still got space. Yeah, we've got uh, space. Yeah. And so, um, would love to sign up right away. We'd love to have you there. And if you're coming, one of the things that Lakeview does that, that Jeff has already experienced once because we had baptisms mm -hmm. in January, um, that not every church does. So we like to, uh, if you're new especially, uh, prepare you for that. We create an opportunity for the congregation to be involved in encouraging the person being baptized. Mm -hmm. And so um, you you might not know Nancy, that's fine. Uh, you don't have, there's no obligation that everybody shares. Um, but um, it is a time for all of us to reflect on what was meaningful at our own baptism mm -hmm. and for those of us who have been baptized and then um, consider whether or not we would want to share that with her mm -hmm. and uh, or whoever's getting baptized. I mean, th you can think about it for a future time too, but to share with someone, oh, this is a verse that's been meaningful to me in my walk with Jesus. Or here's, you know, uh, an encouragement someone gave me one time that I, that I feel like I'd like to pass on you. Like, so think about that, about whether or not you would like, uh, that you would want to share an encouragement with her and there will be a time to do so. And we would love to have you uh, join in the ceremony in that way. And so that's, mm -hmm. um, that Sunday morning, it's part of our worship service. And so we'd love to, love to have you there for that. Yeah. 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 It will, it will be on, on YouTube as well, but, uh, absolutely. But and, it, yeah. and if we're, we're not overriding what we've also said about invite someone into your house, yes. have brunch, have lunch, mm -hmm. get together. Um, then you can sing your heart out and do all of that in your home. You're you know, we're, we're allowed to, I would even say encouraged to have another family or, you know, mm -hmm. five guests over and in. And, yeah. uh, that's an awesome way to be church too. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, it, it, it does mean, you know, we don't have a way set up for you to encourage and offer words during the service in that way. But, um, you certainly will be able to view it all live. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so, you know, that's yeah. a, that's a great, if you got plans already, or if you were thinking of making plans, do it. And yeah. you'll still get to witness and hear and see and, and do all of that stuff. And, uh, and uh, we're just looking forward to a really, a really great day, really great mm -hmm. morning together on Sunday. So yeah, baptism is, is an exciting time, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Seeing someone or, or, or being baptized is that, that yeah. obedience, that next step of faith uh right yeah. so we're excited for, mm -hmm. for nancy yeah 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 it's a yeah. it's a really cool moment part at least at a step it's it's a mm -hmm. it's a journey towards and we sometimes don't play what you know i, I don't want to give too much away what we're talking about on sunday morning but mm -hmm. the uh the sanctification process mm -hmm. of being a follower of jesus right we mm -hmm. often like make it like oh yeah i'm saved and it's all like a moment thing but no there's a big process of it and baptism is mm -hmm. part of that yeah and so we're excited for what's going on in Nancy's life this week through this mm -hmm. and what will be part of the church life this week because yes. of, of her uh, step of, of faith and, yeah. and obedience. So that's Sunday morning. 
Summer is approaching, so there's not a ton of, you know, a number of life groups are winding down if they haven't already. There's not a lot of um, real things to go on, but VBS is happening July 5 to 8. So if you've got kids registered for that, awesome. Uh, just bring that up as more of a reminder because, you know, sometimes dates are meaningless and we can forget. Uh, but we're really looking forward to that July 5 to 8. It, we've got space for two kids left. And so if you've got, there's like a fly checking me out. Uh, hopefully it's just a fly. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, good, <laughs> whew. Then I'm not gonna swell up on camera here. Uh, anyways, July five to eight, kids five to 10. Uh, we've got two spaces left. If you, child, son, daughter, niece, nephew, grandchild, whatever, that would love to be part of that. Uh, information on the website and uh, call the church office if you wanna sign them up for that because we've, we've shut down the public uh, big open online registration so that we don't have uh, uh, way too many that we can handle. We don't have to cancel anyone's registration, but uh, call or email me at the church office or Ursula. And uh, uh, if you wanna uh, get kids into one of those last two spots, we'd love to have them. So anything else that we need well, to make everyone aware of? Just uh, on that note, pray for Chris and, and the team that he's put together to, to, uh, to run VBS and for the children that come. It's a, it's a great uh, ministry that, that is happening and we want to make sure that, yeah, um, that God is uh, leading that and, and working in hearts and yeah, so. It, it's going to be different this year, just for everyone's work, because we, I mean, you planned this months ago and we're like, we don't know what the summer is going to look like. It was all before mm -hmm. the province had their four step plan. And uh, we thought, well, here's a pretty safe target where we think we will be. And, uh, and so it's, it's going to be short. It's going to be outdoors. It's going to kind of keep kids in small groups. Uh, so there's not going to be a lot of intermingling. But we're just excited that we're going to be able to have a, basically a, a, an hour and a half long party in the parking lot every day. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And, but most of all, it's going to help get, we, we just want to help kids understand that God has made them unique loves them through and through and mm -hmm. invites them to be part of his family. Mm. And uh, that is is just a real fun thing that we get to be part of. So as a church, uh, thanks for praying and supporting and uh, mm -hmm. we'll let you know in a few weeks how it went. Yeah. And I uh, look forward to sharing that with everyone. So yeah, no, just have a great week. Yeah. Enjoy the sun. I know it's going to be hot this week. Yes. <laughs> Start up your air conditioner. <laughs> Start it. Yeah. It's been running yeah. for a week. Yeah, and mind you. <laughs> no, it's but, good. Yeah. 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 Uh, don't get heat stroke, uh, but get out there and enjoy God's creation because uh, yeah. uh, it's pretty good around here. Mm. And uh, we'll see you all real soon.